As an activist organization, Color of Change saw a real problem in the industry. We saw that for lots of productions, the only people who were being consulted were people who are really actually doing harm in black communities instead of people with the direct experience of how to keep our community safe. Take one, marker. The Writer's Room database was envisioned as a way to offset that imbalance, to really make sure that there's a range of people being consulted so we have a range of important storytelling. My name is Sunil Nair. I'm a TV writer and producer. It's so easy to accidentally be a part of the problem. I've seen the results on the shows like Revenge and CSI Miami that I did where I, I have trouble seeing some of that content now because it's really, it's fed into the problems of the narratives that TV tells all too often and that we're still looking to break. So that shows you the problem that there is. The entertainment took precedence over the people who are creating the entertainment. There's responsibility to both get the stories right, but then also to get right the people who are helping you tell all those stories who are working with you. My name is Cheryl Dorsey. I'm a retired 20-year veteran of the Los Angeles Police Department. My name is Josie Duffy Rice. I am a writer who focuses on the criminal justice system. My name is Dr. Ruth Arumala, and I am a board-certified OBGYN. I am an expert in women's health, wellness, and beauty. When we bring writer's room consultants into a writer's room, we really can see a 360 change in a storyline. They'll maybe point out inconsistencies in how people are represented. They might point out stereotypes. They could even point out ways that the story is misrepresenting a community. It can change the whole story arc, or it can change something small. It's critical to realize we don't know the stories of all the people that we're trying to tell, and to really reach out to those whose narratives are compelling, and who are also telling us the stories in ways that you're not seeing on TV, because you know I've been, for many years, a part of the problem. I got a chance to work on The Red Line, which is where I first worked with Color of Change, because it was a show about the shooting of a, of a gay black doctor in Chicago by a white cop, and sort of the aftermath for all of the people involved in that shooting. And so we all, when we started the show, and we reached out to organizations, we reached out to human beings, we reached out to victims of police violence, to just see if they were willing to share their stories with us so that we could make sure we were both being responsible and legitimate to the people whose stories we were representing on screen. I started doing this work six or seven years ago. I recently was a staff writer on a show called The Premise, and my episode is about the criminal justice system. From movies to podcasts to other kind of creative productions that are made by people who maybe don't spend all their time in the criminal justice system like I do, they'll often bring me in and ask me to um, kind of give them guidance about how they can more accurately portray what actually happens in the criminal justice system versus what you usually see on TV. I spent 20 years on the Los Angeles Police Department. Being a black woman and a mother of four black men uniquely positions me to have a very different perspective on law enforcement work. I would hope that having subject matter experts would somehow create an environment that is more conducive to black folks surviving police encounters, black folks being able to engage in a respectful and healthy way where at the end of that encounter, everybody gets to go home safely. Having someone like me who's an expert that can bridge that gap from the story that you want to tell to the story that you should be telling is very, very powerful. I am a black woman, I take care of black women, I take care of all women, but particularly I take care of black women, and that can give us steps towards reducing health disparities that is so important because part of reducing health disparities is improving health literacy, and we can improve health literacy by telling accurate stories. This is the first database that really includes vetted individuals who you know will be able to work with your team. It's also the first list that's really focused on racial justice and making sure that there is a diverse set of experts consulting with you on any storyline that includes black people. I think what Color of Change has done with the database is really remarkable and incredibly necessary because the other barrier for people who want to tell the right stories is how the, do I find the people who can tell these stories. I think it's a resource that is a gift to both my work and also much more, frankly, to Hollywood and really gives an opportunity to open up access to showrunners, to directors, to writers, to make sure that they're really telling better stories. If you work in Hollywood and you've ever said Black Lives Matter, if you've ever put up a post about a movement for racial justice, 
You've put your values sort of out there in words, now it's really time to put action behind those words. Writer's Room Database allows you to start building stories that are more racially just, that align with your stated values. And that's really what we want to see. We can't just talk, we have to be about action.